Hello, Melissa here with White Diamond Realty, and today I'm going to talk about a little bit of the elephant in the room um, with the bad news that we got, unfortunately, right before the holidays with Milan closing and 1,500 people losing their jobs. Um, I have been getting a lot of questions about how that's going to affect the real estate market. I'm going to talk about the real estate market only. I'm not an economist all that good stuff, but I've been getting a lot of questions on the real estate market, so I did want to address that um, up front to help kind of give my two cents worth as far as what we think that will mean here in Morgantown. Um, first of all, I'm very sorry to the 1,500 people who are in this stressful situation. I can only imagine what your families are going through, uh, wondering what you're gonna do in July once, once this, um, the plant closes. Um, but I have faith that you will find something, another pathway going forward, and I hope everything works out for each and every one of you. Um, as far as the real estate market goes, the first thing I would like to say is please don't panic. Um, these things happen. Uh, we are a very strong economy in general, and our real estate market here in Morgantown is extremely strong. It has been historically for years and years. Milan is a very big gear in our in, in what is our economy here in Morgantown, but it is not the only one. We still have two hospital systems, WVU, we have NIOSH, we have all of these other um, economic drivers that are going for us. So our real estate market, I do not think is going to crash. So please don't panic, don't panic sell, don't worry about, um, about that in the imminent future. I think the other silver lining here is we have a lot of time. Uh, we are not closing until the end of July. Um, at this point, I don't believe that the union has yet come up with an agreement uh, with, its, with its members as far as the severance package, but if you recall when they did the layoffs uh, about a year and a half ago in May, about a year, I think it was a year ago in May, two years, it'll be two years in May, um, they uh, offered quite a severance package to the union workers who were laid off. So they had a year at least uh, to find something else that they were going to be paid unemployment. They were offered education opportunities. So we can assume that something similar to that is going to happen here. So come July, it, people, yes, will be losing their jobs, but hopefully at least the union workers will have a severance package that they can fall back on. The other thing to keep in mind is all those 1,500 people don't live in, more, in Montegalia County specifically. We have a lot of people that come in from out of the area working at Milan. We have Preston County residents, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania residents, Marion County, so this is not going to be 1,500 houses all of a sudden on the market at the end of July in Montegalia County. It's just not going to happen. A very big silver lining to this is that for those who do decide to leave the area, um, who find some opportunity elsewhere, who do decide to leave the area, in general, this is going to open up a, an opportunity in a very big uh, market sector that we need filled. Uh, we have very low inventory in what I like to refer to as workforce housing. So that is things under $250,000 that, you know, uh, teachers, first responders, nurses, that kind of um, uh, uh, middle class economic factor needs and that's very very hard to find here so hopefully the silver lining is that will open up that sector uh, in our market and help fill a need for those of us who for those who are trying to find something in that kind of a price range so please don't panic we have time um, the other thing I was speaking with my colleague down at Black Diamond commercial wise that is a very specific building that needs to be filled um, so they will be working very hard, the entities and the powers that be will be working very hard to find somebody who can come in and use the facility, hopefully, basically as it sits, so it doesn't have to be renovated too terribly much. So it's a possibility that people will be having a different employer writing their paycheck, but they're staying in the same building. So fingers crossed for that. Um, hopefully that helps. If you have any questions, if you are going to be moving, you believe, out of the area and you want to kind of get a, a head start on planning, if you would like to get a, a market analysis on your house to know what kind of um, uh, equity you have in your homes if, to, to kind of pre-plan for the possibility of needing to leave the area, please don't hesitate to call. It's always free. There's never any pressure. Uh, feel free to call the office and we can have somebody go out and take a look at your house for you. But don't panic. It's okay. Everything will be right with the world eventually. So I hope this helps. Take care. Happy New Year. And here's to a healthy, happy, and prosperous 2021.